welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya. This is Saya Swag. Um, today I am sewing up a Gunther hobo bag from Sincerely Jen Patterns. I didn't really plan on doing a tutorial on this, but I had to sew one up for a diaper bag for a friend. So I did a couple of tweaks to it, added things to it. Um, first time sewing up this bag. It was pretty easy. I would say this is uh, a somewhat of a beginner um, bag. There's not a lot of difficult steps at all to this bag. So if you're somewhat new to bag making, this might be a fun one to try. There are two different sizes. There is a small and a large. I have not made the small yet. I do make the large in this video and it is large. It is a very good size bag. I really like it. I think it's going to make a great diaper bag. Um, Let's see, let's go over what I used. I did an all vinyl outside. It's from So Pretty Vinyl. I will link everything down below underneath this video in the description. I use seatbelt webbing um, for a strap. I sell it on my website. Most of the hardware I do. Um, on the inside, I have waterproof canvas for my main lining. I have some of um, that mesh netting for a bunch of pockets on the inside. And then all of my zipper pockets outside and inside are a cotton that I interface with the woven. The only other interfacing I used on this is the bottom piece for Decaville Heavy out of my seam allowances. Okay, so this bag I have on the back, it comes in the pattern instructions to do this cool slip pocket right up here. Whoops, right up there. I added another slip pocket right here with a magnetic snap. I just kind of came up with the measurements on my own, figure out what you need, but I thought the more pockets the better since this will be a diaper bag and I really like how that turned out. On the front is the double zipper, which is super cool. I love how she puts it together. It is separated into two different zippers. Um, in the pattern, she has like a flap over these zipper pockets. I don't do that in this video, but her instructions are great if you wanted to do that. I just figured since it was a diaper bag, she needs to have easy access, so um, I excluded those. I did O-rings for my connectors. You can use D-rings if you want. I just really like the look of the O-rings. It does have a zipper closure up top, a full zipper closure, which I think is needed, okay? And then inside, in the pattern, she has a zipper pocket. I did two zipper pockets and then all around, <clears throat> sorry, all around mesh pockets, a elastic circle here for just like a bottle and then a clip here for keys, binkies, whatever you need. <clears throat> okay, I think that is the back. It is a really cool design. I really like how you can kind of take Take it and run with it. You can add it, you can leave it exactly how it is. It is a fabulous pattern. I'm excited to try out the small. Um, I think that is it. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Again, I will link everything that I used below in the description on this video. Please like and dis describe. Please like and describe. Nope, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it. And let's start making this bag. Okay, I know I usually go over each and every piece, but I'm not going to on this one. Um, just because I've added a couple extra pieces myself and the bag itself is pretty straightforward as in what you need cut. Um, I did not interface my vinyl. It's kind of a thicker vinyl. So I didn't interface my vinyl. I'm using waterproof canvas. Again, no interfacing. All I interfaced was my cotton pieces with a woven. Um, and that is pretty much it for interfacing on this pattern. And then I did put a strip of Decaville Heavy along my base on my exterior. And that's kind of it for this bag. So I'll tell you what the pattern pieces are as I'm sewing it along and what I'm adding to it to make it more of a diaper bag. Um, you need zipper tape, lots of zipper tape. Um, 
I'm adding an extra slip pocket, not an extra slip pocket, an extra zipper pocket on the inside. So I actually have four zippers total. Um, you want a double pull for that front um, middle zipper. It has a double pull on it. And I'm using O-rings instead of D-rings for my strap. And then you need cross body strap hardware. And that's about it. There's not a ton of hardware to this bag. It's great. You can make it amazing and put a ton on it, or you can really bring it back and make it very basic. So I think this pattern is a great starting point to kind of be creative. So let's start making it. Okay, so we're just going to start at the beginning. I've got my um, main exterior panel. I have my pocket piece here, and this is going to make that top slip pocket up at the top. So I am just going to put those two together and sew along that with the seam allowance along that edge. It's a little off, just a minute. ahead and sew along this top edge here and I do a shorter stitch length for this and if you need to mark your seam allowance so you're not guessing on this part, go for it. Mark your seam allowance along this pocket. That, and then we're going to trim from here to our corners so that folds over nicely. Okay, little cuts, and then go ahead and turn that so your wrong sides are touching now, your right sides are out. Now, obviously I can't use an iron, but if you are using cotton, you could press this. All right, and then I'm gonna top stitch. I'm going to top stitch along that top part. Lengthen my stitching for that top stitch. So that is what you should have so far, front and back. And then I'm going to add my back pocket piece. 
Okay, so here's the back of my piece. I'm just going to put it right sides together right there and sew the sides and the bottom up. And then I'll just sew along the top a tiny bit, attaching it to my actual exterior right up here, just basting. That kind of holds it all together there. So that is my top slip pocket on the back of my bag. Now what I am going to do, which is different, is I am going to also add another slip pocket right down here. And I haven't thought this all the way through yet, but I have an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna mark my center real quick down here. And then I am gonna take these pieces that I kind of just measured and figured I wanted and I am going to sew along the sides and the top and then turn it out. Hopefully my idea works. It's not that complex. It's pretty simple. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm just gonna trim my seam allowance down, especially at my corners. And I'm gonna turn it through. Since this is going to be a diaper bag, I'm just trying to add as many pockets as I can. Because I know that's one of the best features about diaper bags is they have a million pockets that you can use. So <laughs> I'm just trying to add more. All right, I'm just poking out my corners here. Everything can lay nice. Okay. Now I am just going to kind of roll this seam and put some clips on there so it can kind of stay there for a minute and get that crease. Again, if I had cotton, I could easily iron that, but I can't. All right, so I'm gonna top stitch along this top part first. I think I'm gonna actually do another row of stitching 
real quick because I'm going to do a double stitching along the side. So I kind of want the top to match. Okay, so now I'm going to add this to my exterior and I am going to, I'm just going to run a stitch along the side to close up the bottom of this pocket. It'll be easier to make it flat and all one piece. I didn't catch it all the way. <laughs> Helps if you catch the lining. There we go. Again, I haven't actually made this before. I'm kind of just adding these things as I go. I just have the ideas in my head. So we'll see if it works. All right. So I need to make sure when I do this that I'm not sewing this pocket onto it. So I need to flip this pocket up out of the way because this needs to be able to lay behind it. Okay. And then I'm going to put just a couple pieces of double-sided tape. along the side to help it stay in place. I did have the other idea that you could leave these edges raw and cover it with some kind of cute webbing or decorative thing of some sort if you had that. All right. There's my center there. So that should be centered and straight. Okay. So now I'm just going to sew down each side to sew the pocket to the bag. My pocket is flipped out of the way there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and over on one of these um, top stitches here and then back down and give it kind of a double row stitch. like that. See that? A double row. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm actually going to go across the bottom too real quick and just baste this together. Okay, now I'll do this side. The other thing I'm wondering if I need now is a snap. I think I need a little bit of a snap. Um, I'm going to go find one real quick and I think I can put my moon magnetic lock right there um, and that would be super cute. I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so I went ahead and just put a little moon magnetic snap right there, which is nice because you can add those to finished edges. It's just two screws right there and I add some glue as well in there and then I added the snap on to the back. All right, so that is the back of my bag so far. Cute, I like it. Okay, 
I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna work on our front zipper compartment. Okay, so I have never done this bag before, so bear with me. <laughs> I have three zipper tabs, okay? Two go on the end here, and this one is gonna go in the middle. I have the middle of it marked with tape, and I'm gonna fold my raw edges in. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna put another piece of tape on it and put it in the middle of my zipper. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to take off my zippers because you want it to be solid. Okay, and I'm gonna add it there and then I will add my zippers on. I was ahead of the game. All right, so my center is marked. I'm just putting this along my center to separate the zipper. I'm going to top stitch down each side of this. And that separates my zipper into two. Okay, and now I'm going to add my zipper pulls and then I will put on the end tabs. Ah, much better. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Whoops. All right, so I have my other two zipper tabs. I'm gonna sew them on the ends at the seam allowance and you're not gonna top stitch them yet. You do that a little bit on down the line. Just fold them over. Okay. Other side. Okay, so there is my prepped zipper. You wanna get your bottom exterior piece and we will sew those together. All right, you're gonna flip it down and we're gonna baste those. So right side of the zipper with the right side of the bag.
All right, and then you want your front pocket lining. Okay, it's pretty big. I'm gonna find my center on that and you're gonna put it right side down onto your zipper. Kind of hard with these two zippers going each way, huh? All right, so I'm lining that up right there. And then I will use a full seam allowance to sew that on. Gonna have to maneuver your zippers out of the way as you go. Flip this all over to the back, and then we are going to top stitch along the bottom here, okay? So I'm just kind of pressing this really good down. All right. And it looks like you top stitch from the very edge of your bag. If what I'm seeing in the pictures is correct. Okay, so, so far, that is what we're looking at. That's the front, and that's the back. Let's add the back part of our zipper pocket. We're going to just place it on top, and this one is gonna be longer, and that's fine. up at the top here first and we are gonna sew along the top and then we'll sew along the sides of our pocket and then we'll carefully sew along the middle of them to separate it without sewing our exterior in it. So you have to just go up as far as you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna sew along this top edge first.
Okay, so I have that connected and then I'm going to sew up the sides. Just go up as much as you can to the top. All right, and then you want to trim off the bottom of your pocket. And I'm going to find the middle of this real quick. on top. So I'm going to line that up right there. And you want to sew up that pocket as best you can without the exterior in the way. I flip the exterior out of the way. too early that's okay and then trim that off and we want to top stitch along our zipper tabs now and when we top stitch that will close up this little gap that we have up here so that's perfect so go ahead and top stitch along this zipper tab And same thing for this one. So now you have the two separated pockets and I am going to go ahead and just close up my pocket along the bottom here and it will attach it to everything so it's not flopping around. Am I right? Yep. Based all layers together. not doing the whole little flap on the front so I'm just going to do a normal piece up top um, which I think I forgot to cut out so let me go cut that out and then we'll move to the next step okay so I have my front panel piece and I hopefully I'm thinking of this right I just cut off the little extra that would normally be used for the flap going over the zippers. I just don't want the flap on this bag. Um, I just cut that off of the top piece. I figure I can always trim two if I need to, to make it even with the back piece. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that right sides together and sew that onto my zipper.
Okay, and then I'm gonna flip that up and top stitch that. All right, so before I go any farther, I'm gonna go ahead and put my nameplate right here. And then I'm gonna make sure that this piece matches my back piece since I kind of um, tweaked the top a bit. And then we'll go from there. Let's finish putting together our exterior. So I have my front piece here, I have my bottom panel. I'm going to take this along the bottom and line my centers up and sew this on at my seam allowance. All right, you know what, just a minute. Let me clip this pocket more even with my panel. I'm just gonna go ahead and top stitch this too. So you wanna flip it down so your seam allowances are all going towards this bottom panel. And I'm going to top stitch on this bottom piece here, on my main bottom piece. going to add the other side okay and repeat again I have all of my centers clipped on all my pieces right now just to make everything so much easier all right go ahead and repeat what we just did All right, so that's our big main exterior piece. Next, we wanna put them right sides together and we're gonna sew up the sides of our bag. All right, using your full seam allowance. And I am actually gonna do two rows of stitching just to help my vinyl out a little bit because it is a soft vinyl and I didn't interface it. So I'll be doing two rows of stitching so my stitches don't pull. All right. go. 
So the first one I'm doing at my full seam allowance. And my next one I'm gonna do right to the right of that, just to give it a little bit extra support. And I'm not starting all the way at the bottom and I'm not ending all the way at the top. I'm gonna leave um, a little space here so my seam can lie all the way flat, okay? Just like that. I just did a second row of stitching right there just to help it out a bit. All right, go ahead and repeat on the other side. I'm going to trim down my seam allowances just a little bit. Going to box these corners. I do have my centers already marked here on the bottom piece of my bag so I know where to lay it and I am laying my seam flat and lining that up. I'm boxing my corner, okay, just like that. All right, that's what that should look like. And I'm going to sew that together. At a bigger seam allowance. Okay, pay attention. This is sewn together at a 5-8 seam allowance. So pay attention to that part of it. And I am going to move the camera. And just like I did on my sides, I'm gonna do another little row of stitching for that extra support there. And then trim that down. And then do the other side. Okay, so we are going to work on our connectors next. We're going to do the connectors next. I already did one. I'm doing it just a tiny bit different than the pattern just because of what I'm using. And when I tried to sew up and around, it tore up my vinyl underneath. Just wasn't loving it. So I lengthened my connectors just a little bit because my... Um, hardware is bigger, so I needed more um, material for my hardware. So I'm doing the one and a half inch O-rings just because I like the look of it. Folding my raw edges in. 
and I'm going to stitch down each side real quick. And then I'm just going to put my hardware on here. Just going to clip it so it stays together. And then I will stitch as close as I can get to this hardware. I'm going to stitch across. And that'll just make it so your connector isn't flopping around all over the place. going to stitch this on with my bag right side out. It's almost a little bit easier. I'm going to flatten my seam. I want my seam flat when I do this, okay? And then I'm going to stitch my connector in the middle of that seam right there. And mine is hanging over quite a bit because I did lengthen my connectors. So just be aware, that's why I have so much hanging over. And I am going to stitch that on, baste it. Okay. And do the other side. Just kind of comparing the two, make sure I have it at the same place. All right, and then baste that one on. bag out real quick and see what we have. And then we'll go to our lining pieces. So here is my bag so far. There's the back of it. And there is the front of it. And that will be the connectors right there. Ooh, I like it. That is super cool. Okay. See how that pocket's just going to be right there. And then we'll have another slip pocket here. That works great. Okay. So let's go to our lining. Let's work on the lining. So I'm doing my lining just a little bit differently. Um, I am going to put zipper pockets on both sides of my lining. And then I'm going to put this um, just netting mesh pocket material. It's got a tiny bit of a stretch to it. And I put some bias tape on the top of it. So that also has some stretch. And I will be putting that on both sides of my bag and separating it into three pockets just so she has lots of pockets for her diaper bag, okay? So I'll be doing 
both sides of my lining that same way. So I will show you one side and then I'll do the other side off camera. Okay, so I have my marking where my pocket needs to go. I have my um, marking where I need to sew on my pocket piece. I want to do right sides together just like that. And I'm going to sew around that rectangle. All right, so that's what I have. I'm going to cut that out. Cut that zipper piece out. You can use scissors too. You don't have to use a blade tool like this. It's just what I prefer. And then do that V or Y shape at the corners. Like that. Okay. Same on the other side. All right. And then you pull it through to the back. And then I'm going to carefully give that a press with my iron. Just like that. And then we will add the zipper. I have my zipper pressed, or my <laughs> zipper pocket pressed back. I've got my zipper tape. I've got double-sided tape on both sides. I'm gonna take off one side, put in my zipper, and then take off the other side and fit it in. And then we'll sew it. Okay, and then I also have this cute little um, tag. It says, if you can read this, I'm proud of you for cleaning your bag. I think I got it in a Lauren Mormino grand opening box. So I'm just going to kind of slip it in here and I'll sew it in when I do my zipper. It's just hard to get it at the right height there. Right there. Cute. That'll be super cute. Okay. Here we go. And if you haven't checked your bobbin lately, check your bobbin. I just changed mine. It was ready to be um, switched. So this is your bobbin refill reminder. <laughs> Public service announcement. Okay. Let's sew this in. Okay, so now I want to get the back part of my zipper pocket, and I am going to just sew up the sides and the top. I'm going to leave the bottom open. I will take it over to my iron, and um, I will press up the bottom like that, okay? And we'll sew it together. So I'm going to do my top of the bag first. I'll go iron it. And then we'll sew up the sides. All 
All right, I'm gonna go um, iron this up real quick and then we'll sew up the sides. Okay, let's do the sides. Okay, so that is my zipper pocket that I'm leaving open nice and big, okay? And then I'm going to put a slip pocket, a mesh slip pocket on it. Again, this part is not in the pattern. This is just something I have chosen to do since I'm turning it into a diaper bag, all right? I'm just basting it on first and then I'm gonna uh, figure out how to separate it. Okay, so I wanna split it up into three parts. So, do some math here. Six. So if I come in six inches from each edge, I think we are good. So that is what I'm going to do. Not quite sure how to mark this though, because I know this isn't really Will that show? No. Okay, I split it up into three. I know you can't see it, but I have markings in there that I can see. <laughs> They're very um, hard to see through this. Oh, there, see that? They're through the mesh, the mesh netting. So I'm going to go ahead and put my zipper pocket up and I will separate this slip pocket, I will go up and back down just to give a double reinforcement with the stitching. All right, just like that. So there's one and then I'll do this one. All right, so there is one side of my lining. I am going to do the other side almost the exact same way as I did this side, and then we will continue to the next step. Just real quick, I am adding a little loop of elastic right here, enough to hold a water bottle or a bottle of some kind um, secure in the bag. And then I'm just adding, this is all just with elastic. This is elastic too. Just a little clip in case you need to clip those binkies or those keys or whatever. Obviously it'll be more secure once it's all sewn together as a bag. But I added those two things as well. So we are going to prep our top zipper. So I evenly did a mark across the top of my zipper here and then you're going to pinch your zipper at that line and fold it back at a 90 degree angle and it kind of brings it under okay and I am going to try to just melt my cut edge and see if it stays um, you could baste that into place as well 
but we'll give this a try. Just cutting off that little tail um, that was hanging off and then I'm going to just try to melt the two together a little bit. I don't know, I don't have the best luck at this. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. It somewhat stays. All right. And that is your turn zipper. Again, if you want to baste these down, you can totally do that. It should stay just fine for what I need it for. Okay. Here's my zipper panel pieces. I have folded all of my edges over by about a fourth of an inch. I used just some double-sided tape to do that. And you're going to take the exterior one and I'm going to place it right sides with this zipper and I kind of start my zipper right where the fold ends. That's how I line mine up usually. All right, and then I'm gonna clip that right there. I'm gonna unzip this. And then I'm just gonna baste that on first. And then we'll add the lining piece under it. Okay, I'm gonna get the lining piece and put it on the other side and make a sandwich. So right sides together. And I'm going to pin that or pin it. I'm gonna clip that there and then I will do my full seam allowance down the zipper. If it's uneven, you can unfold one side of your lining and refold it to how you need it. All right. Okay, and then it will be even. All right, now we wanna fold it out and top stitch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch along my exterior down the zipper and then I will baste the two together.
Okay, so that is my first side. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the other side to here the same exact way. Okay, all done. We just need to fold it in half here. I'm going to clip my centers. And then we will attach it to our lining. So my lining already has my centers clipped, which is good. I want my zippers all going the same way. So I want my zipper starting over here at the left, lining up with this zipper. I'm gonna clip it along the top, matching up the centers. I'm gonna baste that on first, and then I will add the top piece of my bag on that. So I'm gonna baste this first. right side up. Your zipper's right side up and your lining's right side up. Okay, so I'm gonna get my top part of my bag here and we're going to go right sides together on top and does this have a it does have a slight slant so make sure you're doing it the correct way all right and then we're going to sew that on at a 1 4th inch seam allowance kind of curved right there. I need to redo that piece right there. There we go. All right. All right, so I want to flip this up and now I'm going to top stitch along this top lining piece. All right, so my Seam allowances are all going up towards that top piece. All right, so now we wanna just do the same thing with our other lining. Here's my other side. I'm gonna take my zipper, right side up, baste, and then I'll add the top lining piece.
Okay, so we're gonna finish putting our lining pieces together. We pretty much assemble them the same way, except we use a bigger seam allowance. So whenever you're doing it at the top, you start at the same seam allowance as you did on your exterior, and then you increase it, and that will make sure that you have a snug, tight fit into your exterior, okay? So here we go. So bottom first, I'm repeating the same exact way that I did with the exterior. Okay, so I'm starting with our regular seam allowance, which is one half of an inch, and then I am increasing to that five eighths as I go down. Seam allowance down a little bit. And I'm just going over where I have that clip right here. A little extra security. All right. And then we do the other side. Okay, and then we got to do our corners, same way as our exterior, just a bigger seam allowance.
All right, so now we want to put the two pieces together. So I have already turned my exterior um, inside out again, and then I need to turn my lining right side out. I want to make sure that my zipper pocket is open, the one that I'm going to be pulling my bag through. And I want that along the back of my bag, so I'm going to put it this way. All right, so I'm putting the lining inside my exterior. And the reason to do it this way is so you don't have to fight your exterior being bigger than your lining and trying to shove your exterior in there. It just, this is actually my preferred way to do it because the lining fits in a lot easier and you're not fighting it. Okay, so you just want to line up everything and we are gonna clip along the top. I like to do my side seams first. Clip everything else into place. Okay, I'm gonna sew around the top at my seam allowance and then we will turn it through our pocket. Now, if your foot needs a little help going up over this connector, just fold a piece of vinyl and stick it up under your foot in the back and it'll lift it up over this piece. And same for coming back down sometimes, you need that little help along the side and the front. You can just stick that under one side of your foot and it'll help it come back down. Okay, now I am gonna do another row 
just because I'm doing two layers of vinyl here and I don't want my stitches to pull. So I am going to do another row of stitching just like I did on the exterior to the right of my stitch line. I'm going to do another row along my connectors just to give it a little bit extra. You don't have to do that, but I'm a little paranoid like that. So now it's got quite a few rows of reinforcement of stitching there because your whole bag is hanging on these two connectors. Okay, we are going to pull this bag right side out. Okay, so we have to top stitch along our bag here and close up the zipper pocket and then we're done. Okay, so I kind of have it clipped, my seam rolled and clipped and I am going to top stitch. I am gonna do two rows of top stitch along the top because I just think it'll look, look good. So here goes my first. I'm gonna put a piece underneath here because it has a little bit of a bump and I don't want it to tear up that vinyl underneath. Hopefully that prevents it. See that's kind of catching right there.
Okay. I actually think I'll just do one time around. I think one time around is good. Very nice. Very nice. So this first one, my walking foot underneath gave it a little tug right there. So as the tiniest little, do you see that? It happens to the best of us. I'm hoping I can like gently melt that back together very like heat it with a hair dryer is what I've heard if you heat it with a hair dryer and kind of rub it it'll um kind of go back together so I'm going to try that so the second time around on this one I put something under and on top to prevent from the teeth of my walking foot and my machine and it totally helped I don't have any marks on this one so I mean, it happens. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We just need a close up pocket. All right, we are all done. Okay, we're all done. Here is my Gunther hobo bag slash diaper bag. I think it turned out great. I'm super happy with it. Um, yeah, I think it'll. I think it'll work. I really like this design. I was able to kind of play with it quite a bit. And I think it's very versatile. I'm kind of excited to make the smaller version and see what the size difference is. Um, I mean, this is a good, good size bag. It's gonna hold all the things, all the baby things, all the travel things, anything that you need. Um, and I made a strip with just the webbing I saw on my website. It's just seat belt webbing. And did I say strip? I meant strap, I mean a strap. All right, a strap with my seatbelt webbing I saw on my website. And I also made one out of the vinyl, depending on what she wanted. I thought this vinyl was pretty thick and it was hard to move through the adjuster. So this one might be a better fit for carrying baby stuff and you're you know able to adjust it really easily. Um, that's it. That's all we got. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. See you next time.